They're saying goodbye. One last picture of the Buckrow Beach Amusement Park, an attraction to young and old since 1895. Inside the park, you begin to think, how many? How many people walked through the gates? How many rode this ride, seemingly as old as the World War II airplanes it imitates? How many times do you figure this clown licked his ice cream cone? How many romances began on the beach? Perhaps the best vantage point is here on top of the world's oldest, largest wooden roller coaster. From here you can see the entire park, the new rides and the old rides. The roller coaster itself seemed to know the end was coming. The 75 horsepower electric motor died three weeks ago. The carousel still works but doesn't operate. The original hand-carved horses are too valuable to risk on the public. It will be sold, like the other rides, to outlive the park, which in the past 25 years has been the victim of encroaching condominiums. One of the other things would be Bush Gardens opening. It's the video and computer age. So in this, uh, the child now that's five or six or seven or eight or nine or ten doesn't relate to a park of this size. Nightfall. Thousands are here for the last hours. Thousands who haven't been here this summer or for 10 summers. Thousands who might have saved the park had they not waited to visit. You can always tell what kids are thinking. Teenagers are transparent too. And this night, it's obvious the adults are lost in the past. They used to have uh, excursions from Richmond. I don't know, you don't remember that, but you could get on a train and then a dollar come down and spend all day. Well, this was a pretty big thing in its day, wasn't it? Oh, the most delightful place you have ever seen. It was truly beautiful. And then it was over. Showman Dennis Stephen described the final closing. I guess in a demise scene or in show business, the curtain will go down in the form of the lights just being cut down and cut off slowly. Uh, and that will be about it, and we cease to exist.